But of course, professional boxing, an entirely different prospect than amateur boxing. And it has been kind to Mike Tyson. Here we go. He is a fast starter. One thing we should mention, Jimmy, before the action heats up too much, is this is a 16 foot ring, very much to Tyson's liking. Starting out, going to the body. A couple of those punches appeared low. In the work Carl Williams fight, we saw Jesse Ferguson go into the corner and onto the ropes and then counter with left hooks off the ropes. Referee is Luis Rivera out of New York City. Longer than have some of Tyson's 12 first round knockout victims. But now, Tyson got an uppercut through the guard. I'm the distinguishes him, even in the amateurs, Mike Tyson can throw great body shots. He takes what you give him, and right now, just still and allowing Tyson to swing away at the rib cage. A few seconds ago, one of the things that makes Tyson so special, he threw a tremendous left hook, missed with it, and didn't go off balance. Always in position to punch. Back into the shell. In his first 17 fights. One good left. Down. Ferguson about to become the sixth of Mike Tyson. We'll be back. And ready for the beginning of round two in Troy, New York. Jesse Ferguson stepping out of his corner in the red trunk. To make it as far as round two. We apologize for the quality of our audio at this moment. We are on our backup audio line. We'll stay with you. Now we're told that it's time. Tyson getting through the guard again. And in that one brief combination, you saw the... It might not be an inadvisable strategy. Tyson just grabbed him and looked to survive, and he really didn't uh, keep his concentration. Be interesting to see fighting the same kind of opponent here in Ferguson, who's not giving him very many punching opportunities. If he continues to stay well, punches, their heads are going to be very close together through much. End of round two against Mike Tyson. Round three. And Jesse Ferguson is on. Good right. Bent has got to drain something out of him. He is not breathing heavily. He looks pretty in pretty good shape at this point. You would find almost no one in the arena who believed before this began that it would go to a decision. But if it were to go that far, certain dissimilar, that there is really no direct comparison to style between the two fighters. New York State in non-title fights. He's got to set himself. Once again, those are arm punches. Coming to the four, and Jesse Ferguson now joins two fighters, one named Don, 12 of them first round knockouts, coming into this, his toughest test so far. A few moments ago, Jesse Ferguson looked over to referee Louis Rivera for some help. Uh, he just got hit a low blow, as he has been hit a few during the... Ten round heavyweight fight between Mike Tyson and Jesse Ferguson. We begin round five. You were with us at the end of round four. You saw that immediately the fighter, but I would say that Mike Tyson is trying to do two things here. One, he's trying to pace himself. I think. I think he respects respects Ferguson. And he's TKO defeat out of the city. Was in trouble in both the first and tenth rounds, and now he's in trouble here. Blood coming out from the nose of Jesse Ferguson. The right uppercut of Tyson has 
put him down. Six, seven, eight. Up at nine is Jesse Ferguson. I think that uppercut broke Ferguson's nose, Jim. He is in desperate trouble. He will not last much longer. Rivera almost stopped it there. Mike Tyson's known as a great finisher. Let's see how he does with Ferguson. Ferguson gamely hanging in, having trouble covering up. Four seconds, three seconds. Brilliant uppercut. Another look. Tyson punching from very close quarters. The, the obvious punch right here is the uppercut. He turns around, digs right to the body, and then comes straight up with the right uppercut. Tyson has a tendency to turn left-handed. He turned left-handed to, la to land that cop. Professional Tyson's ever been in this round. Jesse Ferguson is hurt. And let's see how Mike Tyson does to take him out. Break. He's going to have to get in there and force him apart. Another left. Can't say I blame him. The only thing Rivera can do is what he just did. Give him a warning. And take points away if he continues to do it. Tyson's making a mistake by letting himself get this close to Ferguson. He must maintain a little bit of distance so that Fer he's going he's to take a point. He's disqualifying him. He disqualified Jesse Ferguson. 